The classic PT Cruiser. It's got a tad bit of a muffler problem. He dragged it a little ways. But wired it up. Uh, requested that he gets his wire back though. That was his main concern. So we've took the wire off here. And maybe he keeps it in his emergency kit or something. But anyhow, the rest of the exhaust looks pretty solid. Best I could tell. The car's not completely schmoked. Um, so instead of, you know, buying all the pipe and muffler and all that, I think we're going to see if we can't just couple her back together for this fella. Get him a few more miles out of it before the old PT rots away on him. She's well on her way. It's getting a little flappy down here on the corner. So we'll see what we can do. So I think the best bet is to just chop it off here. I've got us an inch and a quarter sleeve from Napper. It's your 41951, pretty classic. And then I think we'll cut it off and the piece that's still in here, we'll get it out at that point. And then we might have to expand this out a little bit and fry it on with the welders. I'm thinking it's probably our best bet. So get your safety squints on and we'll chop it off. <laughs> You sound a little weak sauce there on us. That worked pretty good. It's the Asher pneumatic. She's a four incher. Uh, if you buy one of these, it takes a tremendous amount of air to operate it. So if you just got a little, you know, homeowner kit uh, air compressor, it may not function very well. Even with an 80 gallon uh, 29 CFM, it's about all she wants. Okay. Let's, uh, we got a little bit of a sleeve in here. Let's get that out of there. See if we can just use an inside cutter bit here. Hook onto it. There we go. Not quite what I planned, but pretty close. Hey, fella. So, there's that. Now, I don't believe. It. So this is an inch and a quarter ID. I don't believe it will fit in there because it's the same size. But what we can do is we'll just give this a little toot and expand her up a little because this should fit over the other side here. It just like so and it does. It fits beautiful. Um, the one thing we could do, we could chop that off more. Let's see how much room we have, I guess, before we get too excited. Just out of curiosity because that one's almost... We could almost go full jerry rig on this thing. Just send it a little bit over, but actually we need it about right about there. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of touching the inner fender. Not the inner fender, but can't quite do that. Yeah, there's some plastic bits over there. It's hitting. Maybe just about like so. Yeah, yeah, it's hitting some plastic. We better not. I'm gonna give it the old extension because it needs to be about there to not hit anything. So let's uh, let's expand this out just enough to fit that other pipe in there. So we're gonna use this little fella. This is not the typical expander I use. This is a garage sale special. So you got a pretty small forcing screw and I don't know how or if it's gonna work. But we're gonna give it the old try. So we're only gonna go just as deep as where it's already originally flared out there. Um, So we're gonna give her some beans. Like I said, I don't know, it may just break. We might have to go back to the one we always use. Or it may just work lovely. Uh, where's our piece of pipe? I better, I don't like it, guys. Right up. Mmm, not quite fell. It didn't really open her up. I don't think. I think we were running out of ugga-duggas there. This screw's pretty hot. It's probably gonna break. 
This may be only for straightening pipes, not expanding them. Yeah, we can't get enough beef. Well, instead of destroying this would probably work great for straightening out pipes, you know, when Napa sends them up and the ends are all smashed up. Yeah, let's grab our other expander. Much bigger forcing screw on this one. We don't have to go a lot more anyways. Whoa, fella. But I don't want to split the pipe, this uh, old rusty pipe. Splits pretty easy. If it does, we'll just have to put a little weld on it. I think that's about what's to happen. Yes, sir. Seen that coming. The good news is, though, I think we can get up in there. Mm. Yes. Yeah, she split it. Gosh dang it. Well, we'll have to do what we gotta do. I think we'll give her just a couple tacks to hold it there. Woo, ran right the palm. That was a good one. We'll get her held, then we'll weld up our little crack we created. Yeah, I should hold her still. There, our crack is fixed. Now we'll just buzz this around, and then we'll stick it up on that top plate and uh, set it where we need it and get it all welded up. It does have a hanger broke off the back of the muffler. We're gonna stick her right about where she was and give it a little tack on that to hold that still. And I think we'll be in good shape. sure it lined up with that hanger where it was broke off so we can put a hanger back on this muffler and we'll get that thing fried on there I just want to let that 
down a little bit because the MIG welder is kind of big to get up in there. I want to make sure I had it weld all the way around so it's easy just to set this down and then finish it off. down the road. You don't want to put on your squints for this part too. Want to chop a piece of rod off here. Let's put it through the OG hanger. Just want to put a little bend in it. We'll put it right back where it was and like I say this will just keep the exhaust from dragging if it were to break again. This will work just fine. Stick that in there. Come on, baby. Well, I could add another bend in it, fella, but I think we'll go right below it. We'll just weld it right to the body of the muffler how it was and put a little tension on it, call it a day. I think he's back in business. It's all welded back together. Put the extra hanger on. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, we did a good job. All right, folks, that's it. Uh, kind of temporarily slash permanently fixing. Uh, the PT Cruiser exhaust at least until it breaks again and so it's not an uncommon thing to you know have stuff break like that and to just leave it back together particularly if the pipe's still halfway decent and you get a few more years out of it before it all rots off. Uh, now down in the comments section there lighten me up because I should have changed everything because the pipe is rusty and you're correct. Uh, as a business absolutely should have sold a muffler, should have sold an intermediate pipe, could have got more labor and then all the markup on the parts and therefore more money in my pocket, keeping my guys employed and not just busy. However, I'm the one that did the job. You don't know this fella's situation any more than he knows yours. So before you get all judgy on me, uh, just know that. And uh, that's all you need to know. So anyways, go down there, still criticize me, still give me the comment, the Insty, the Facebook. You all know what to do. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.